Hi Tracy. So um, I'm just gonna go over some things with you. I'm not really sure where you left off because I haven't seen you in a while. But let's just go over the C major scale. We're gonna play it hand separate and then we'll do contrary motion. I don't know if you already did that, but maybe it'll just be a review for you. You can also do this with all the other scales too with the same fingering. So, um, let's try to show you this. So, we have, we're gonna start on middle C. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. So that's our right hand. And we'll move you over to our left hand. This is gonna go five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Now, try to show you both hands here. So I'm not gonna be able to show you both hands, so I'll just play them together for you. So it's just gonna be the same fingering, so you can just start really slow if you want. Now the tricky part with that is your left hand and your right hand are gonna be switching under or over the same time, or at different times. So just make sure that you really pay attention to that. I'll see if you can see that from now. You can also do that with G major. I don't know if you've ever done the G major. So the G major just has the F sharp, but it's the same fingering as C major, and you're gonna obviously start on G instead of C. So. Remember to switch your fingers when they're supposed to be switched. I'm also gonna go over some triads with you. I don't know if we've ever done triads before or chords. So we'll do C first. So your chord is gonna be C, middle C, E, and G. So you're just gonna play those together in a solid, it's called solid form. And then the next one will be E, G, C, and you're gonna play those together. The next one will be G, C, and E. Next one will be C, E, G again. So I'm just going to play those a little faster to 